want to get right to the news overnight, the latest on Nelson Mandela. That's right. The South African president has come out and appealed to the world to pray for Mandela right now. New details are coming in on his condition. ABC's Bazi Kanani is in South Africa this morning with the latest. Good morning, Bazi. Good morning, George. Government officials are releasing few details about Mandela's condition, not even confirming which hospital he's being treated at. But a lung infection is always quite serious at his age. And we do know at least one official has canceled an event today, citing only unforeseen circumstances. A government official here tells ABC News former South African President Nelson Mandela was admitted to the hospital just before midnight, that he remains conscious and doctors are attending to him, ensuring that he has the best possible expert medical treatment and comfort. Mr. Nelson Mandela, a free man taking his first steps into a new South Africa. The 94-year-old revered leader has battled a lung infection for decades, but this marks his second time in the hospital just this month, following a three-week stint in December. Pray for our beloved Madiba, South Africa's current president, Jacob Zuma, said in a statement, we have full confidence in the medical team and know they will do everything possible to ensure recovery. Mandela, whose name is synonymous with the struggle and eventual triumph over South Africa's legacy of apartheid, Nelson Mandela, Nelson Mandela. was celebrated by the crowds at the 2010 World Cup finals in his home country. It was the last time we saw him in public, though earlier this year, his family released this picture of him. Mandela's health has been frail in recent years, but concern is growing today now that he's back in the hospital so soon after his last hospitalization. People here in South Africa will continue to pray for the beloved leader they call Tata, which means father. George? People all over the world. Okay, Bazi, thanks very much.